nobody even implemented the CIA into drug dealing until 96. Mm. Oh, okay. So, no, so there's no way your name could have been on his paperwork. How could it? You know, we interviewed Freeway Ricky Ross. Right. And that was the whole, that was during that time period. So you knew yeah, him and everything. I didn't never know him. I've never known him. I saw his name in my paperwork, but you I saw his name in your paperwork. Yeah, and I didn't know who he was. Oh man, I saw that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gonna talk. So. I don't know. We interviewed in New Orleans, um, Big Boz, Anthony Boswell. Do you know who that is? No. Because he mentioned in the interview that. Um, in his paperwork, you know how yeah, when you go to prison, whatever, you got your paperwork back. And for some reason, in his paperwork, your name wasn't the paperwork. So they got all this, and this during the Contra affair, like when all that shit going yeah. on. So I kind of got caught up in the Contra. You know, that show Snowfall and mm-hmm, all that. Mm-hmm. I, that's, around, that's when I got So you had interactions with all of you. Yeah, think about yeah, it. Yeah, this man. is the time, you know, we interviewed Freeway Ricky Ross. Right. And that was the whole, that was during that time period. So you knew yeah, him and everything. I didn't never know him. I've never known him. I saw his name in my paperwork, but I saw his name in your paperwork. Yeah, and I didn't know who he was. Oh man, I saw that. Yeah, he did say that. It was before he went. He said that's what he was saying. That that, guy uh, guy was bullshit from the start. You know what I'm saying? So your name was not in there. You know him? I never heard of him before. Then why? That so you don't see your paper? Your name was not in his paperwork. He wouldn't know if he don't know it. I don't know the guy. I never heard of him. But the stuff that he was saying. He, this was something that happened in Oklahoma. In, yeah, right. in Oklahoma. In 80, what did he say, 84 80, or something mm-hmm. like yeah, that. Yeah, it did. was early on. At the time, I was getting apprehended going to prison around 87. Like two years later after I graduated, then that's when all that was transpiring. So I was back and forth in a way. But while I'm in Oklahoma, I meet a dude in L.A., from L.A., mm. And he was the plug, right? He didn't know. He was a square, never hustled before, nothing. But, really? you know, I've been doing this all my life. So, bam, I go to L.A. with him, and I meet a bunch of guys out there. That's he knew everybody. Right, that's in his neighborhood that's getting it in. So, they got all this. And this during the Contra affair, like, when all that shit going yeah. on. So, I kind of got caught up in the Contra. They, you know, that your snowfall and mm-hmm. all that. Nobody even implemented the CIA into drug dealing into 96. Mm. Oh, okay. So, no. So there's no way your name could have been on his paperwork. How could it? How could it? I had never been to jail in in '84. I didn't go to jail until '89. Uh, wow, <clears throat> wow, that's crazy. Because maybe is, but your name is he? Maybe the name. No, he had he he had the name right. What what, you, what people do. And and you know I don't know if you heard on there, but he was talking about that Snowfall was based off of his life and. No, I didn't hear that part. But yeah. we we talked to him, we interviewed him, and he told us that because I asked him because I seen a little bit of that. And I was like, so how was Freeway? Because I had interviewed you, so I was like, how did his name end up in your paperwork? And I don't think he went into deep detail. He just no, said he, he don't know how. He said he because he don't up. know you. He never met you. But I'm like, how? Why would they put his name in your paperwork if y'all don't know each other? That exactly. don't make no sense. Like, yeah, these dudes. Woo, woo, woo. They said whatever. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. But, but, but you hear the know. stories about how much he was doing in the L.A. inner city of mm-hmm. uh, uh, freeway, by the freeway, that's what he told us. But listen to me. I don't but you know. ain't never even met him. I don't know him. But I you have, say the dude. I have nothing against this dude. I know nothing about him whatsoever. I'm just, this just really what happened to me. Absolutely no sense. So, I mean, do you have, you've had your name used in a lot of situations. And I heard you say on one interview that I think you said three or four people that misused your name as far as, you know, like trying to use your name or trying to do different things with well, your name. Well, people, you know, people are cloud chasers, you know, and, and they don't want to do the work. You know, wow. a lot of people don't want to get out here and, and earn their position, you know. So it's easier to, to, to drop a name, you know, and, and have nothing to back it. Do you? Um, so I, I didn't even. You didn't even entertain him. No, I didn't. Even, this is the first time I ever even mentioned mentioned it. I, but yeah. when I heard him talk, you know, and even the interviewer, you know, I felt that he should have said, "Where's your paperwork? You know, what's yeah. the, what's the court number? You know, yeah. what's the doc number? Yeah, let's go pull that up out of the docs. You know, because you know, you know, like I do, the, the court papers is 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 a record. Yeah, yeah, and you can get them. You can actually pull them back up. Should be able to pull them up any time. Yeah, it's public records, right? So when when I heard him saying that, you know, I mean, why would you mention somebody that you never met and never met you? 
Wow. You know, how would I even know? I mean, how would it? I don't know. It, it was just a waste of time. No, nothing to, to. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.